Hello, good people of the world. My name is Cristana. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. I know in my last video, I said we were gonna rock 2020. I realized that I said the wrong year. Apparently I've just lost two years of my life. I don't know. It's 2022. Okay, so today we're going to be doing this little buffet, right? And it's kind of interesting because I removed the hardware and you can still see the outline. So I'm assuming that this is probably from UV rays or what have you. But today we are going to be doing some texture. We're gonna be using a roller. So you've seen me do that in a video a long time ago, but here is one of the textured rollers that we're gonna use. And this is from Artistic Painting Studio. So I will put a link in the description below. But I'm gonna show you guys how to do almost a reverse stamp, okay? So we're gonna do an indent versus putting paint on here and rolling it on. We're also going to be using Redesign with Prima's decoupage paper. Look at this, look at this. This is right up my alley, look at these colors. They have a decoupage medium that we're gonna be using with this. And today we are gonna be using, dun dun dun, Wise Owl. Wise Owl. This company is a company that I've always really just enjoyed they are great people and they have really cool colors that are right up my alley very earth tone so we're going to be using a couple different colors today i'm going to show them to you this is my idea and you know it could change but we're going to be using these colors with this paper and we're going to do some texture we'll be using oh hold on a second we're going to be creating texture with salt wash, which is a texture additive. We're gonna do all the things, it's gonna be fun. I'm super excited to use these colors. Republic Red, Turmeric. This looks just like turmeric, doesn't it? Spanish Olive, we're gonna do Bone, which is a white color behind this paper to make it pop out more. And that's what we're gonna do. Let's get started. We're gonna prep this piece. I'm gonna show you how to prep a piece before you use Wise Owl paint. And we're going to get just funky, boho, age chippy, colorful, fun. We're gonna have so much fun. Stay here. I started by cleaning my piece with the Green Easy Cleaner. And what you can do is you can either use this direct. If so, if you have a really dirty piece, you can actually use that formula directly or you can pour it and dilute it into some water. I like to use warm water and I just cleaned this entire piece up and then I pulled the drawers out and took the doors off and cleaned the inside as well. This is the first step in any process when you're painting, no matter what you're painting with, you always wanna clean your piece. And especially if you're gonna be sanding, you wanna make sure you clean it so that you don't get any of the dirt and grime into the piece when you sand. But you see how dirty that water is? The piece didn't even look that dirty. Once your piece is dry, you are going to want to scuff sand it. And so you can see right here how it's taking that shine off of the finish. That's really all you're doing. You don't need to strip it completely down. What you're doing is you want to degloss and add a little bit of bite to that surface so that way the paint will stick. And then I take a microfiber cloth and I wipe off all of the dust. I am going to take Wise Owl's gray primer and I'm gonna put that over the entire piece. But before you use this, you need to make sure that you stir it really well. There's a few reasons why I'm gonna be using this primer and the first one is because we're gonna decoupage and we're gonna use a lighter color. So if I have any bleed through, this is gonna help so that I don't have any bleed through in those areas. Secondly, I'm gonna be using some colors that are very highly pigmented and this is going to help with the coverage. So gray primers are really good with red colors, yellows, things like that, very highly pigmented colors. And so this helps so that you get a little bit better coverage and you don't have to use as many coats. So this is a stain elim eliminating primer as well as helping to make the colors a little more rich. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to take Bone by Wise Owl and that is their white, one of their white colors. And this is gonna be what is the base underneath my decoupage paper. And this is gonna allow my decoupage paper to show a little bit more brightly. And that way you can really see the colors in the paper and the colors in the paint that I'm going to use. So I'm going to put the Bone color anywhere that I'm going to use the decoupage paper. Thank you. 
We're going to be using the redesign with Prima decoupage paper and Tangerine Spring. And then I'm also going to use their decoupage gel in matte to put this in all of the little insets. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this paper to fit that little area that I want it to go in. And I wanted to show you something. So one side of this paper is actually brighter than the other. So make sure you are cognizant of that when you're doing it. So that's not as bright. That side's brighter not as bright. So make sure when you are actually putting it on that you put the brighter side facing up. But I wanna make sure that it's fitted properly and then I'm looking at it, everything looks good. And so what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to put down the decoupage medium with a foam brush, just a cheap foam brush. And this acts as almost a glue for that paper. And then you see how thick it is as well but then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the paper down so that it puts it in place and I'm going to push any of the air bubbles or creases out starting from the center and working my way out. And then I will put extra decoupage medium over top of it. You can allow it to dry and you can put decoupage medium, you can put as many layers as you want. So you could do another layer if it's a high traffic area, you know, up to two to three layers. I mean, you could do seven layers if you really wanted to. So it really just depends on you, but I'm pushing it down and then I'm going to start from the center and I'm going to push all of these areas out so that way I can make this paper nice and flat and smooth. We're gonna be using Wise Owl's chalk synthesis paint to paint this stuff. So the green color is called Spanish Olive, and the red is Republic Red, and then the yellow is Turmeric. And these colors blend really nicely, but the first thing we're gonna do is create some texture. So we mixed some salt wash with each color, and I put them on the panels with a plastic putty knife. And I didn't make it super thick, but just thick enough because we were gonna, we are gonna be using a roller from Artistic Painting Studio. And what this is do, gonna do is it's gonna leave an imprint. And so that way when we paint over it later and we sand it back, it's gonna reveal more color. So I took, I filled about a quarter of the salt wash measuring cup and then I mixed a little bit of paint and what you want is you want a thick consistency. So I'm gonna show you the consistency that you're going to want. And then what I do is I just randomly spread all three of the colors on those front panels. And that way it was thick enough that when we go over it with this roller, this printed decor roller, then it's going to create a pattern on it. So I'm just going over each area randomly with the three colors and the texture mediums that I've made. And then you're gonna see here in a second how I take the roller and I just slowly go over it to create an imprint. You want to make sure that this is still wet when you use the roller because obviously if the salt wash mixture dries then it's not going to make an imprint but here it is the imprint looks a little weird right now but later on after you paint over it and then you sand it it looks really cool because it creates all these different colors and layers and textures so i'm going to tape over all of the areas with my decoupage paper and i am going to start by randomly placing republic red on my piece. Now, 
I am going to put Republic Red and Turmeric right next to each other so that will create an orange color when I blend them together. And then I'm also going to put Spanish Olive, I'm going to try to put Spanish Olive close to the yellow because those will blend really well together. But the thing is, is if you look at a color wheel, all the way from the green to the red color, those are very similar in the same color family and I also pulled my color inspiration from the decoupage paper itself so we're going to try a blending technique that's a little bit different here but first we are going to randomly lay down all three of these colors in different places all over the piece I put two coats of paint down before we did any other kind of blending. I know it looks crazy right now, but trust the process, guys. It's going to look awesome. So we're gonna get into blending here and I'm gonna explain a few different techniques that I'm using on here. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to add some wet paint. So we're gonna add the Republic Red first. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch and I'm gonna put some of the turmeric down. And I'm gonna work with the wet paint and I'm going to blend it with just the moisture from the wet paint. And then you can see me stippling or dabbing the brush. I'm going to do that in the areas where there are transition lines so that way we can create a more cloudy blend. And I'm gonna to toggle between the two colors. So I'm gonna to toggle between the Republic Red brush and I'm gonna to toggle between the Turmeric brush. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a neutral brush that's clean and dry and I'm just going to first of all spritz a little bit and then I'm going to take that neutral brush and I'm going to stipple over everything to kind of smooth out and blend everything together. But we don't want a super smooth blend. You can see that it's like a layered stippling. So then I'm taking the Spanish olive and I put some wet paint on there and I did a little bit of a circle, but now I am stippling it. That's I'm using the neutral brush and I'm gonna stipple that to kind of mesh everything together. Then I'm gonna go over to the turmeric, put some wet paint on there, do a little bit of blending into that Spanish olive, and then I'm going to toggle between the two and do that stippling. So I'm gonna do that kind of blending on the entire piece. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna create texture and it's gonna allow that yellow to overlap the green and then the red to overlap the yellow and the green to overlap the red and all the things. Once the paint is completely dry, I'm gonna take my three x four electric gray and a 10 millimeter pad, and I am going to sand over the entire piece. And what this is gonna do is, because we have done some layers with the stippling, it's gonna pull different colors underneath, and then we're also gonna go over those panels and we're going to sand down that texture so that way we can reveal those colors underneath. And then it just adds even more dimension, more colors. And then this is also gonna smooth out my paint and add a little bit of distressing. And then I'm gonna remove all of the tape so that way we can see the colors that are all together. But I want to deepen these colors. So I am going to use Wise Owl's Hemp Oil Furniture Wax in Black Walnut. And so I'm going to take this wax and I'm going to put it all over the entire piece and then I'm going to wipe it back all the excess back and then you'll go back later on and you can buff it back in but this is going to deepen all the colors you can see how it's just deepening them and then it's just going to give it more of an aged look and just more dimension I want to apologize to you guys I did not get to film an outro it's been super busy this week but this is the video. This piece was a lot of fun to create and I really wish you guys could see it in person because videos and pictures never do the colors justice. But this piece was a lot of fun to create. I hope you enjoyed it. And then here are some staged pictures for you guys to enjoy. Everything I use is in the description below. So make sure you guys are subscribed and hitting the bell. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and until next time, happy creating everybody. Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Hey darling We could get out of town See the
the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. Pack our bags and get.